Good day, everyone. Welcome to episode 15, Rise of Industry, season 2. Ah, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a ghost truck just cruising along right down there. The phantom truck that everyone else is driving through. That's pretty impressive. The game is haunted. Now, we are here, apart from the fact that we have ghost trucks, we are here at our two distilleries, which are in fact wineries, uh, producing Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, my personal preference. And uh, we started this off uh, in episode 14, which was our last episode of Rise of Industry. And it all looks like it's going, you know what? Amazingly well. And even the one-way road system appears to be working. But now, in episode 15, drum roll, please. We are going to put in our first, well, we're hopefully going to put in our first railway line. So that's what we're going to do right now. And we are going to do that. Uh, oh, maybe we can get a tunnel if we put it in there. We're going to go from Warehouse Alcohol 1 over here, sorry, over here, to Warehouse Oven Road 2. And so what we want to do uh, in this particular thing is actually build a railway thing. Uh, destinations, no. Ah, oh, uh, no. Request, there you go. Build a train terminal. Ah, uh, aren't you spe... Ooh, now, where's the outgoing end? That's a good... It's got to be that end, right? Uh, actually, we don't have to build it there, you know. We can build it over here. Oh, hang on. That raises a good question, doesn't it? Maybe we should build it up here first and figure out where it's going. Because we have to be... Blah! That was interesting, wasn't it? Yes. Hmm. Well, that's very special of you, yeah? Why do you have to be correct connected to a road? Doesn't, does, does it not, does it not, no it does not, why does it need a road? Um, hang on, which way do the train tracks go? Do the train tracks go somewhere where they should go? Like that way? Do they go that way? Must be built on non block tiles. Oh, right, sorry. We, you're a goose. Thank you. Here we go, that's it. Yes, thank you, very good. Which end is the end that has the train tracks that go out? That's a good question, isn't it? And I don't know the answer to that question. It looks like they come out this end. Doesn't it? It does. Uh, does it really? All right, well, well, we'll try it and see, because I think that's what it's telling me. Um... I have no idea. You would think that that's... Trains move a lot of product and move pretty fast, but require train tracks to work. They can also suffer slowdowns if you aren't savvy with track placement. Make sure you place this building near a warehouse to be able to make requests in its request tab. It sounds intuitively straightforward and easy, but I'm going to guess that it is not. In fact, either either of the above two things. 
So first it will close you because you just got in the way and you were useless. So is this telling me that train tracks are one directional? You never know, you're luck in a big city, right? I think that's what it's telling me. I'm pretty sure it's one way and then the train switch over and go back. So, um, yeah. And I don't know how many tracks we need. Actually, this is the first time we're doing this, so we don't really know for sure. But it's going down there from the look of it. So I think what we need to do is possibly bring it out of here as well. Okay, so this is alcohol one. And guess what, buddy? You need a train track. It's all the rage in Europe. Uh, and also, as it turns out, in America as well. Everybody loves a good train track. They do. And um, do we want to go through a tunnel? I don't know. But I'm willing to find out. So if I go like this, can't place here. Any particular reason? Well, you're just special, aren't you? Can I go across roads? I don't know any of this stuff yet. But you know what I can do? I can terraform because I have become pretty good at doing that. And so what we're going to do right here is spend $1,500,000 and terraform that into a flat surface. I just had a horrible thought. If these are one way, I may have to cross the tracks over if they're going the wrong... Oh, what's a research breakthrough? What is a research breakthrough? <gasps> Speed up by 25%. Yeah. Uh, if it's one way... What happens if we have to cross the tracks over? I don't know the answer to that question. Does anyone know the answer to that question? The answer is nobody knows the answer to that question. Are the trains, in fact, going to crash into each other? We don't know. So, you are green to go out. I don't know if this is going to end well. But... It's the fun and the excitement of it all that makes it worthwhile. Uh, now, while we're on this topic, they're one square apart. So, in fact, you need to go to there and then turn that way. How does that look? That looks like a newborn baby having a great time. Can you in fact not know you say see, see? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Because going out green has to come in the coming in green one. Wait a minute. It's green on that side. What is it on this side? Red. Yeah, see, it has to come in that way. You are an idiot. That means that these tracks have to cross over. Of course they do. Why do they have to cross over? Because they just the way they it is. Oh. No, maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Why? 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 Oh, now that's interesting, isn't it? 
Well, if they have to cross over, let's cross them over here. Is that what you do? No, that's not what you do. Um, we have to figure out what you do. Uh, and it's not bad, that's for sure. All right, well, let's do this for a minute. And that for a minute as well. And let's assume that this is not intuitive. Just for a moment. Let's assume that, shall we? Of course we shall. Why not? Let's go from there to there. Aha! I think we have discovered something of valuable import. Indeed, we have. I like that one better. And then I like that one. Okay, so if we cross over and you go in there, is that going to work? It is going to work. And then this one comes out here and goes in there, 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 there. No. I have no idea what I've just done. Actually, maybe it doesn't work that way. Maybe, in fact, we should have gone back to our original and it reassigns re it when you do it. What do you think? Think that's got a possibility of being half right? Or maybe even a third right? Or something? Maybe. What's it done over here? So that's red. Well, it may not work. And that's red. You know what? Let's just try it anyway and see if it works itself out as opposed to me working it out. Does that does that look like it's functional? Okay, now a co contract auction. Oh, yeah. I think I can I think I can manage that one. Okay, that's that says you can come in. And that says you can go out. And that says you can't go out. And that says you can't come in. That's right. That's what we want. There is every possibility that what, what, no. Okay, now, okay, first of all, that's not what we want. What we want here is to request tier two. My gosh. Where's wine? Tier one. Wine. Okay. Well, you could be, you could be <gasps> a train. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now that you have a contract to send the products, you need to target the town center which is under the contracts category. Try to hurry, or you'll be fined for half of what the contract... What? You cannot be serious. What's my contract for? Uh, headquarters. Headquarters. What's my contract for? Doe, wasn't it? Doe, 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 doe. Doe. Uh, uh... Uh, request destinations. Choose destination. Doe. Where's Doe? Anyone got Doe? 
No, you're not Dave. You're Flower. Don't lie to me. I tell you what. Seriously, game. You're a liar, Doe. In the town centre. Under contracts. Region contracts. Deliver Doe. Contracts are opportunities for you to earn a large amount of money by providing enough product to satisfy the contract. Deliver 18 Doe to Urban Road. Have I done that or not? What? Yes. That's what I want. Is it working yet? A fine of $937. So what does it want? 18 dough. Choose destination. Choose destination. Choose destination. Contracts. There you go. Go. Uh, uh, I don't have trucks. Or do I have trucks? What's happening? Up and road town centre. Okay, fine. Doing it. Oh, I'm a railway man. Okay, where's the train? Oh, I lost the... Oh, the train's going back with nothing. Hang on, I want to see this. Okay, I'm... I wanted to do trains and I missed the train. All right, come on. 12 out of 18 delivered. Oh, okay, we might we might do it then. Train terminal. Maybe I should say wait till full. Should I say wait till full? Uh, destinations? No. Storage? We got six. How many do you take on a train? Uh, see, these are things I don't know. I don't know. How many have we got? We got... We got six. How many have you got? You've got... You've got a lot. And you are not delivering anything. You got eleven. You got one. You got two. I want to see alcohol being delivered. It's still got 11 alcohol. Liquor store. Wow, 13 every 15 days and we've got 13 stored. Well, we've overdone that, haven't we? Like, as in seriously. Okay. Now, all right, well. So, you know what we need to do now? We need to get alcohol to Osterfeld, which is, which is, which doesn't have a liquor store. Why not? My goodness, son, you're prospering too. All right, hold on. Well, that's disappointing. Ah, oh. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Ooh, ooh. Uh, hang on. It also looks like we're out of R&D. Wow. Uh, yeah, we are, actually. Whoa. Produce. Okay. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it. Hold it. Perhaps we should stop and pause for a minute. Oh, train. Oh, wow, the train. Come on, I want to see the train. Stop it. There's the train. Train goes in that way. Oh, look at that train. Seriously good. Okay, I like trains. Ooh, that's nice. So if I have a look at this train... I get a train from train terminal 2 to train terminal 1 carrying 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can count. 
Okay, I want to see what happens when it gets there and what comes out. Go! Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, and the engine comes back with nothing. Okay. Okay, so it's basically one way trip at this time. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, okay, so research, R&D. Um, okay, now, okay, what have we got going on here? Oh, let's have a look at the shop overview for Oven Road uh, in the clothing store. Right, and the lick, so clothing and liquor now in Osterfeld. Farmer's Market, Hardware, Ironmongery, and Clothing. If we set up train network from the clothing stores through to both Osterfeld and Urban Road, that would be very good for us as well. Uh, so we need to get back into the clothing business, having got the first part of the winery production thing going on. Um, and we're in textile, and so now, oh, uh, interior lining, work clothes, winter clothes, oh gosh, summer clothes, and napkins. Gosh, do people still use napkins, or are they gone to paper now? PR kind of research breakthrough. PR marketing me oh, building just for for seventeen months, starting to become a bit mine firmer. Sure, why not? Um, uh, I need to have a look and see. No, not there. There. Uh, close you, please. In it. What? No. Wash the felt. Clothing, please. What are we looking at in terms of summer clothes? Wow, average price seventy two thousand. Oh yeah, okay. Average price seventy two thousand. All right, we're into that. That's what we're into now. We've got an air purifier there. Okay, so what have we got going on at the moment anyway? We have got clothing. We've got two. Okay. We've got textile, dye. Well, we've got heavy fabric, fibers. Heavy fabric, fibers, and dye. That's what we've got. Heavy fabric fibers and dye yep so I think we're going to go this direction first I'm sorry why am I unlocking that requirements oh What is that? And that packaging. Paper mill. Heavy pulp. And then cardboard. Oh, right. Yes. Okay, I got it now. And then we're going to have to go and manufacture that stuff. Uh, no. Is the answer. What we really want is wooden planks and barrels. That's what we really want. Then we have to find out what we do with wooden planks and barrels. Because we want whiskey, wooden planks and barrels. Uh, 
wooden planks and barrels. Carpentry. Wooden planks and barrels. Okay, who uses wooden planks and barrels? Okay. Hardware store. No, no wooden planks and no barrels. So it's a specialist production. We just check over here. No wooden planks and barrels. Just to make sure. No, nope, no wooden planks and barrels there either. Right. So we need wood for wooden planks and barrels. So we need wooden planks to make barrels and we need wood to make wooden planks. Right. So we've got wood over there. And um, now we're looking for another place to get wood. Mm, our options appear to be a little limited. Certainly that could be a place. And I think the answer is yes. Because it doesn't produce pollution. Now, click on you. Yes, see if we put you there, we can do everything inside that area, which is exactly what we want to do so now that is the area and we want to build a thing called a lumber yard and in actual fact we could put it smack bang in the middle of that and get the entirety of it all It's not necessary, but we could. Or we could bring it out here. No, we're going to put it smack bang in the middle and get it all. Now, where's the road? Show me the road. Show me the road. There's a road. Okay. Smackly bangly in the middle. Um... That's one. That's two. Three. Okay. Well, when we get four, we're going to add you in. Uh, we need a road. Uh, we're going to have a problem here. Actually, no, we're not.
Like sands through the hourglass, so are the lays of our lives. Research speed up 75%. 25%, don't say crazy things. Okay. Uh, right. And now, I like how thick this forest has become since we've been harvesting now. I hope they're going to do the same thing over here, actually. Uh, I think they are. Right. First of all, we need two lumber mills and we need to put them possibly over here. Now... We could put them, uh, actually, could we put them here, near the train tracks? And then, actually, we're going to need a pollution douche and guy first. Uh, because this is turning horrible around here. And I suspect it will continue to turn horrible for the foreseeable future. However, we are also going to spend a gazillion dollars on terraforming. Because we just really like spending money um, without any consideration for what it might cost us in the long run. Uh, I could possibly fit two in there, actually. Especially if I did it this way. Maybe. Wonder if I could get that in. How many have I got left? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. Now, was that a good idea? I don't know. But you know what? It looked like the only idea I had at the moment. So what did I say we were going to put in? A planky producey thing. Now, let's just have a quick look at recipes for a sec. We get three wood produced at a lumber yard. All right, so hold that thought for a sec. Lumber yard. We get, we have three, and we produce, you're not telling me anything. Harvest time, 10 days. One wood every 10 days. Really? Three wood every 10 days. Three wood every 10 days. 30 days in a month. Get nine wood. Nine will give me six. No, nine will give me three, will give me six. Six should be enough. Let's go with six. Okay. So first off the bat, we're going to produce one carpentry center. Goods like wooden planks, furniture base, and office furniture. That looks like what we want, and we will place it facing that way, like so, and ooh, we're going to build another one. Don't just stop now. Man, it's like, oh no, we've done one, now we can have a cup of tea. No, you can't. We're making more. We are industrialists, and... And they're all one-way streets that way. Now, hang on. That's a two-way. And this is a one-way. So it goes around there, up there, down there. I don't see why not. Uh, maybe. Actually, you know what? 
we're not going to fit anything in there. So let's do this. That kind of makes more sense. Yeah, that does. That makes more sense. Because we're not going to fit anything in. So, you hold on. Stop. Just before everyone goes racing off doing the wrong thing. Uh, you need to be wooden planks. And you need to be wooden barrels. Ah, problem. Okay, well. Just for now, let's make you wooden planks. Let's just check to see where we are in development. Cool. Um, after you've produced that, let's go and make something called... Oh, no. Grain whiskey. Oh, ooh, what's that? Yeast? Is that yeast? Where is that? Ye I need yeast. Someone give me yeast. Okay, then we need yeast. Then we need whiskey. And we also need uh, grain. So, um, we need grain. So, so, that's that's what he said a minute ago. So, where would grain go? Grain probably should go in this direction. Um, actually, and if we structured this properly, we could run grain that way. So we need to spend more money terraforming the world because it doesn't, it wasn't built the way we wanted it built. And so we're just going to go right ahead and terraform it. Then we're going to build a farm. And that farm is going to be wheat. Wheat, 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 wheat. And it's going to go... Uh, actually, you know where it's going to go? It's going to go right there. How's that for a cunning... And some would say devious plan. One, two, and uh, three. Okay. We now have the raw ingredients for Scotch whiskey. Actually, where do you get yeast from? That that's that's an idea. Where does yeast come from? Yeast. Farms, gatherers, no. Wouldn't get yeast out of a preservation factory, would you? Drinks factory? Brewery. Do you get yeast from a brewery? You do, and you need sugar. Sugar. Plantation requires water. Okay. Um I'm up on this. I got I got this one. I got this one. Um Plantation, yep, 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 got this one. Got got this one. Got it, got it covered, everyone. Uh, I need to count squares now. One, two, three, four, five. Just, just double check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, look at that. I don't even terraform. It's because it just fits. Oh, wow. We're ahead of the curve on this one. Four. Five. Holy dooly, 
that's our first five. No, not berries. Ah, uh, cocoa, cotton, sugar cane. Thank you. Okay. Man, it's going to get busy down here. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Okay, where are we with R&D? Yeast. Okay, we get barrels. Then we get yeast. Then we get whiskey. Okay. Uh, okay. 40 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, the excitement... Is, ooh, what happened there? The ex excitement is palpable. Right. So, it looks like what we've got going on here... And let's just start this up so we can be making some money. Actually, how is the money situation going? Look at that. Nice. Uh, yeah, we spent 2.8 million in building construction, and that's why we're running a deficit. Uh, let's just get to the end of September and hopefully see if we can not. Oh, we spent 2.13. make any money this month. Recurring income, building up to, building up to, right. Yeah, we're making a profit, technically. So, oh, well, that's good. Um, but we're down here watching, I oh, like this. This is going to be a great little industrial area down here. Uh, with its own train station and everything. Very happy with this. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the episodes of Rise of Industry. And of course, we'll be at the Grumpy Is Gamer channel for more fun, adventure and klutziness. So please come back and join me when you feel like watching some klutz videos. In the meantime, though, stay well. And I'll look forward to seeing you at the next vid in the gig channel. Until that time, I'll see you later. Bye.